Hey guys, I'm doing this PCV valve replacement on 2004 V6 Highlander with 3MZ FE engine. And similar steps should work on all Toyotas and Lexuses that are listed here. I just replaced the front passenger side motor and cleaned both throttle body and mass airflow sensor. And before I start the valve cover gasket replacement to fix the oil leak, I want to do a quick video on how to replace the PCV valve without having to remove the intake platinum. Removing PCV looks kind of intimidating because it's partially hidden from the view. But actually, this is really simple DIY for anyone. First, use any clamp plier to squeeze the clamp while moving the hose up and out of the PCV valve inside. You need to move the hose up about three quarters of an inch or almost two centimeter for the hose to come out. If the hose seems stuck, use a small pry bar like me here to push the hose up, but be careful not to damage the hose end while doing this. Once the hose comes out, use a 19 millimeter wrench to loosen the PCV. The space is kind of tight to get big turns with the wrench, so just get it loosened a little bit at a time. For some PCV that are stuck, it may take some force initially to loosen the bolt. Once the PCV rotated counterclockwise about 3-4 times, then you'll be able to loosen it by hand and lift it straight up to remove it. Oh my god. Along with the master flow sensor, throttle body, and now this PCV. They are all most dirtiest I've seen on all the cars I've worked on. Let me give it a shake test. You can see the heavy carbon and oil deposit inside and nothing is hardly moving inside. Let me show you what a new PCV sounds like. You can clearly hear the movement and I can also feel it in my hand. Again, here's the old one and now here's the new one. Toyota and Lexus OEM PCVs are cheap at around 10 to 12 bucks so I always buy OEM PCV but in this case I was buying a bunch of parts from Rock Auto and it was just convenient to add this PCV to the entire order in one shipping. Installation is just reverse the removal steps. In my case I'll just put the old one back in for demonstration because I'm about to replace the spark plugs and valve cover and platinum gaskets so I'll install the new PCV at that time. Here are some common bad PCV symptoms. Check engine light, misfiring while idling, high or rough idle, oil leak or consumption, lean or poor fuel mixture, poor fuel economy, exhaust smoke that can be white, black or blue, rough acceleration. Given that Toyota and Lexus PCV valves are cheap and usually easy to replace, you should replace them at least between 50k to 100k miles depending on the condition of your car. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.